Hey, it's a reckless retiree here, and I wanted to update you on my platinum recycling efforts. I told you I was going to show you my doing this, and I didn't do it. So here's my system. The blower the blows into the ground, and then up in there is a vacuum head right here top of it and then that goes into the back with the vacuum cleaner so yesterday I did that for hour plus and uh, times I slowed down and just drove on the shoulder slow as I could and in the process I got this much material not much so I'm probably going to have to tweak this system to try to get more. But today I'm going to filter that in these filters. And uh, then weigh. See how much I got. And I've been watching Street Tips on uh, refining platinum from catalytic converters. And so what I'm going to do is... Uh, dissolve what I have uh, in some uh, nitric or not nitric hydrochloric acid I have to run to the pool store to get that I'm out and then I'm going to uh, add some bleach and that will cause the platinum to dissolve into solution. And then eventually uh, we'll get that out of solution. I gotta rewatch Shree Tips more to uh, get that. So I'm just uh, using this fine uh, bristled paintbrush to get this material out. I, uh, I didn't get much material, but um, it appears to be very, very fine. So the advantage to that is I should have turned that fan off. I was going to do that. I forgot. Oh, shoot. It's not any good to put it onto the table. So, um, it's very fine already, which is what I wanted. That's the reason I'm using this system of blowing it from the ground and then catching it with the vacuum. Because I only really want to get the really finest, otherwise I got to do a lot of filtration. And uh, maybe I can get this system down to where I don't have to do any filtration. I don't know if that will work out or not. So, let's get this the old shaker row. And my guess is almost all of it will go to the very bottom, which is the hundred. Um, grit then I'll weigh it and uh, I'm wearing the sunglasses because I don't have my safety glasses I don't know what I did with them I searched all over for them I may have to take these off because I can't see very well. But these first filters here, I don't really need to see at all. Just uh, dump them off because they're going to be gravel, little pieces of stone. And uh, straw and such of no value.
Okay. I'm not anticipating any platinum to be in the larger stuff because, of course, it's going to be in the catalytic converter and it's going to be uh, blown. If it detaches, it'll blow out and that probably will be very fine particles. I really should have some bags to put this in and I'd not just keep the very finest. So I'm going to get some bags. Okay, I got some Ziploc bags. And I'm going to save uh, anything 20 uh, or smaller. So I'm going to call this uh, first run uh, vac system and this is going to be 20. It won't be a lot of that I, I don't think. Looks like I got a bunch of sticks too which doesn't make sense. How does it get through those other filters? Somehow it did. Okay so here's the 20. See, there's not a whole lot. I don't know that it has any real value, but you know, when you spend hours doing something, you, you hate to just throw it away. Okay, in case there is some value to it. Okay, so that was a 20. Now we got, uh, let me shorten this, call it uh, V system first and call this 30. Don't just call it 30, make it 30. How about that. Okay. And you can see that's a little bit more. Put them in my little storage box down here. My elaborate uh, system. Very well thought out system. Okay, so then this is 50. In this uh, container. And we will call that. Back system. Number one. 50. Give it a little, oh, shalala, came apart on me. Give it a little extra shaking, make sure the 100 goes through. Okay. And, come on. Okay, there's the 50. Okay, so then all that's left is 100, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter what's on the tabletop, because I think that's the 100 that's escaped this process, and I don't want any escapage. Like I said, you know, this stuff is potentially precious. Okay. Okay, now here's the hundred, and I'm going to put, first of all, I'm going to uh, start the scale with the cup on it, so it's zeroed, and now I'm going to dump the hundred into the cup. Whoa, and the cup wants to move on me, and therefore you can lose some of the process. All right, so... 25 grams. This is 25, not 2.5, right? Yeah, 25 grams, which I guess there isn't a lot, but it's heavier. Does that make sense if it's platinum? So, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a container, a flask or a beaker, and add hydrochloric acid, and then some, oh, that came off my nose, didn't it? Uh, some chlorine, I mean some bleach, and try to get that platinum dissolved, and then uh, I'm going to have to buy some zinc, pure zinc, and uh, I need to do that right away, and I'm going to uh, try to cement out the... Uh, platinum uh, using the zinc as Sri tip shows and I think I'll do that at least with a portion of this which is the stuff I just got from the end of the driveway the hundred grit and maybe we'll do those two at the same time and compare them and that's not a bad idea so I'm going to quit now and go get some I had to cork acid at the pool shop and get a uh, gallon of bleach at the grocery store and then we will proceed with that. Okay, so this is the material that I got off the road yesterday with my new system. And what I thought I'd do is take a, just a little bit of that. And of course I'm going to have to um, use two hands. Just a little bit of that. That's way too much. but And I'm going to spread it out here. And I am going to um, look at it with this microscope. I'm going to look at it and adjust it. Okay, I got adjusted to see the grain of the paper. Now I'm going to adjust it to look at the material. Um, see if I can get you to see that. Looks yellow, but it's not. It's partly white and partly black and the black is what I'm hoping is platinum group metal so I just want to see what it look like now I'm going to put this back in the cup and then I have this uh, beaker, which is made into a mug, and I'm going to add the, should I add all of it? Maybe I'll add half of it, or a portion of it. Okay, I've added a portion of that to the, uh, you know what I didn't do was weigh, yes I did weigh it, it was 80, hmm, I've looked back at my other video, but I did weigh it, so anyway, I put a portion of it, I probably should weigh the portion or use it all, that way I'll know how much there was, oh what the heck. We're going to put it all in. I think it was 80 grams, somewhere around 80 grams. All right, well, I was putting this in my fume hood that I made, but something's happened in the fume hood and the fan is not working. This means I got to take it apart to find out why. But I'm still going to get the, the first part of this process going by putting some muriatic acid 
uh, in the uh, with the uh, powder to see what will dissolve. Uh, the platinum will not dissolve with just muriatic acid, so uh, I can pour that liquid off and uh, remove things that I don't want. So um, that's my plan. To measure off some muriatic acid. about 20 milliliters. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. That's interesting. Hopefully it won't overflow. But if it does, I have it in this dish now to try to catch anything that may. Wow, look at that. It's definitely going to overflow. Try to not, try to get not to overflow onto the handle. So I'm going to close this muriatic acid up for now. Just let this go for a while. See if it settles down. Then maybe add some more. And uh, yeah. There you go. Acid on the uh, sample settle down. And I'm going to add, hmm, that's interesting. I should try to get that off the side of that. Uh, well, to add, total, I've added 110 uh, milliliters of the hydrochloric acid. And I'm gonna let that just sit in there for a while. You can see the bubbles are kind of subsiding. And the sun is, bacon down on it which will raise the temperature of it and maybe further the reaction i also found this weird looking thing uh in the uh on the side of this candle holder so i'm going to add a little acid to that and see what happens there's some sulfur in there the sulfur i think is reacting it looks like a hairball, but it uh, doesn't seem to be affected by the acid, which is curious. All right, that was crazy. All right, so we're going to just let that react for a while. And uh, once I get uh, my ventilation system up and running and get a mask for chlorine gas, I will add chlorine actually bleach to it, which I have right there, as he does to separate things out. Interesting. All right, so here we are.